Alright babe, so I'm out of the shower, still have a deep conditioner on, and I am going to dermaplane. I don't know about y'all, but I've been feeling uh, busted and crusted. Oh, let me get my other mirror. Yeah, I have a mirror here, and I also have this mirror to like, I can't be the only one that's like, when I'm trying to save, I have 20-20 vision, I'm just kind of blind sometimes, um, and I don't want to cut my face, but I don't know about you guys, but I can't be the only person that feels busted and crusted right now like mm -mm. after traveling even though i went to my favorite place on earth guys you, i'm from california i'm gonna be biased i'm obsessed with california i love california can't wait to go back and live there no california is not perfect but damn do i love that state um and nevada las vegas in particular is a close second seeing as i lived there for a year those are like my favorite places to be because they're home um and obviously we're back in alaska and everyone's like oh my god you're home and i'm like no actually no I'm not home. I'm in Alaska. I'm in the domicile that I am so blessed to live in, so grateful that we have this beautiful house here, but this is not my home. It doesn't feel like home. If anything, it feels like I am <laughs> like stagnant. I don't feel like I'm home though. When I was in California, I felt like I was at home. Like I know going back to Vegas, I'm gonna feel like I'm at home. That comfort, that love, that warmth. And I know it's like home is where the heart is. Well, clearly my heart ain't here, bro. So. I'm just I'm here so I'm gonna try and make myself feel a lot less crusty today you guys have already seen I did my shower I made my breakfast we're on like our bad bitch fit girl vibes so we're gonna dermaplane I dermaplane mm, once every other week to once a month it just depends on my schedule and it has been a month and I don't know if you guys can see let me come here can we get into it it's giving dry, it's giving mustachioed, it's, it, I mean, it's giving crusty. The airport did me dirty, so I'm gonna use the Mad Hippie Cleansing Oil. And I use this because you can use it to wash your face, but also because I bought this as a cleansing oil and honestly hated it. And Homegirl is too expensive to not be using it up, so this is its new purpose. Um, and it is, I will say, it's like a gentle cleanser for when you clean your face after you shave because you always need to wash your face after you dermaplane just to make sure you're not getting any, like, bacteria in it and things like that. I wash my face before with, like, a really gentle cleanser and then after I just use the cleansing oil and maybe, like, a cleansing balm to just get everything else 
off or I use like an anti acne like benzoyl peroxide one after if I'm breaking out like probably today I'll use benzoyl peroxide but to be real the benzoyl peroxide is going to be um, a little drying and harsh so just be careful with that so yeah guys I have been feeling busted and crusted and um, normally I wouldn't do this if I have like acne but I just can't live with how I've been looking because it's definitely been over a month. Do you see that? Like, girl, she a different complexion. Uh, like, I look rough. Like, honestly, we were in California for about two weeks and I, like, literally needed that. I didn't work. I just had school. Even though I can work from home, you guys know I work remotely, um, I could not be bothered. I just wanted to enjoy my time in California with my family and friends. Oh my God, sis, please hold. Guys, that's literally it. It doesn't take long at all. I'm just like lazy about doing it, but I'm gonna go wash my face really quick and then come back. Obviously I have acne, I don't look perfect, so you guys are gonna see that, but it does make my skin look a hell of a lot better, smoother, just more refreshed, I guess. Oh my God, guys, so this is my skin. More, ew, don't look up my nose. What? Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, this is my skin though, now that it's like moisturized. I obviously saw some acne, I saw some texture going on because I haven't been on my uh, tretinoin game, but that really, 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 really helped. Like, really helped my skin, to be honest. Okay, please ignore our loud ass air conditioner, but I'm not turning it off also because for some reason, 70 degrees here versus 70, 70 degrees in California hits different. Like it's way hotter here for some reason to me. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys my current favorite coffee recipe. So I just got this cup while we were gone from Starbucks. I redeemed all my points. It's so cute. I don't know. I'm not one for uh, like touristy things like this, but I do love this. I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I love that it has the poppy on it and our cute little bear. I just love California way too much. Like the redwoods. This is just a really cute cup. The freaking wineries because obviously that's my neck of Cali. I guess that's why I like it so much because it's more NorCal California things because um, you associate like wineries and the redwoods with like you know NorCal the Bay Bridge which is the bridge I have literally ridden on my entire freaking life my grandma still lives in San Francisco to this day and we went there like 24 7 as a kid so to me that bridge is like iconic of my childhood uh, I just like love this cup I was like oh my god that's the one I need so I'm very happy with my cute little cup so you're gonna need an espresso because that's the coffee machine I use and I take these which one is this Jesus the tropical coconut flavor it's this little pod and it looks like this i get it oh my god just focus not the beauty guru moment for the coffee pod let me just Ooh. <laughs> okay so this one comes out every summer it's actually supposed to be over ice but i make what i call an almond joy coffee and i make it hot and it's so good i don't even like almond joy so if you're not an almond joy girly trust me this is still the coffee for you it tastes so good and like light and fruity, but it's still coffee and I love coffee. So you're gonna take it, make it hot. And chocolate syrup, sugar-free chocolate. That's what I like to use. I will do one, two, that's all. Nothing too crazy. Then hazelnut, 
If you have almond, almond is, wait, do I have almond? Hold on, please hold. <gasps> do I have almond? Oh no, that's hazelnut, shoot. Okay, yeah, I don't have almond. Use sugar-free almond, um, or sugar, who cares? But I'm gonna use hazelnut to get that little like nutty flavor. So one, two in there. Then you're gonna take the good stuff. Sea salt, chocolate, caramel, Tarani, if it'll focus. Okay, so you're gonna take this, a splash of oat milk, and I do froth it cold in here, but you can do a hot froth too. I just like my coffee to be the perfect temperature for me to drink. Pour it in, and then do like a little, I don't know, whatever you want to do. I just do like a little teeny tiny design on top. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, okay, so that is it. And then your coffee is made. I mean, what's not to love, you know? <laughs> what's not to love? But I'm gonna take this upstairs and I like to have little coffee breaks. I actually learned about this. Apparently this is a um, Swedish, Swedish tradition, Swedish, Finnish, I think Swedish though. And it's called fika. And it's when you have coffee and like a sweet little treat. Um, and you're not supposed to do it every day, obviously, but I'm gonna show you my treat. I have these cookies left from our flight. And, oh my God. Okay, I have these cookies left from our flight because we like just got home a day ago. So I'm just gonna eat these. They are my favorite cookies ever. Biscoffs, if you've never had them, are the best cookies on earth. So I'm gonna have these with my little coffee and just watch a quick show before I do my extensions and just luxuriate and relaxing and have a Okay guys, so it's not exactly, <laughs> sorry. It's not giving exactly what I was after, but it really doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere today. Um, I'm literally just chilling with Leo, but I just like did this cute little claw clip look and I crimped it with the crimper, but it didn't exactly give what it was supposed to give. I don't know. I think personally I have outgrown super long extensions like they don't look good on me anymore so probably when my short extensions come i'm going to put those in that should be coming hopefully monday i'm probably gonna rock this for the week and then um put in the shorter ones next week i just think like i have outgrown the super long hair like, no, scratch that. I think it actually does look good on me because looking in the viewfinder right now, I'm like, okay, get it, get into it. Um, but it's like 4th of July weekend, so I feel like it'll be cute. I could put it in braids with like a baseball cap. I can do this like cute clippy style. Like, it'll be a vibe for the 4th of July weekend. I just think that, um, um, we need to do something with those. Okay. Anyways, I just think that I don't look as good with like super long hair. I think there's a certain length on me that looks great. And this like super long, like 24 inch, ain't it? I think I look best with like an 18 to a 16 inch extension. So it'll fall like about here or here. I think that looks a lot better on me even like here. I don't know. I just think that looks better on me. So I'm probably going to be wearing these extensions up for the week. But I'm really excited that I put them in. I think I'm actually gonna put in lashes. Um, so, okay, so I have the Kiss Falscara sets, and I kinda wanna put these on. 
but they're looking a little intimidating not gonna front these are like petite volume i think something like that and i think i just want to put like the natural set multi-pack lengthening list i think i just want to do these um, and just have like a little like judge to my natural lashes because now that my hair is always going to be done I kind of want my lashes to always be done too um, I don't know I'm kind of into this look though let me know what you guys think I kind of live for updos on me like a middle part with an updo I honestly think 90s y2k style is actually my personal style with hints of like minimalism mixed in um i have really been working on my personal style so don't worry like fashion videos are definitely coming back like do you, you see her you see miss ma'am right here half that clothing still has tags on it because i just like redid my whole closet and the other part over there that's the actual closet is getting like such an intense clean out i'm also going to be dyeing some clothing to like make it colors that i want um just so i can like reuse a lot of my clothing uh and just get it to be like my actual style because i think i've really figured it out and i do think that that like 90s y2k like the slip dresses the kind of like looser pants like that is actually my personal style i think it looks amazing on me especially in this body where it's like i don't feel a thousand percent confident that style looks so good um and i was like wow 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 looking amazing you know what i just realized i think i left my brand new steve madden shoes at my parents house in california and they're gonna have to ship that to me i'll put a picture right here i just realized when i unpacked that those shoes did not come out of my suitcase which yeah i'm gonna have to call my mom to get those shipped to me okay pause what time is it i'm gonna call my mom right now because it's a little it's it, we have an hour time difference so i want to call her before they like go to bed i'm so mad because i love those shoes they're so freaking cute but that whole style the platforms everything like that is my zhuzh and i think that's actually my personal style like will continue wearing it even when it's not like on trend anymore that's just my personal clothing style at this point okay guys definitely did call my mom definitely don't think she's actually going to ship those items because i don't remember reminding her at the end of the call so i'll probably have to call her back <laughs> it's been a solid hour of us on the phone gossiping and i do not believe i remembered to remind her to ship those items so i'll call her tomorrow anyways we're gonna put on some lashes i just i just want to um i don't necessarily oh my god relax sister <laughs> okay i don't think these are gonna make like a crazy crazy difference on me to be real like but i just want to do something different so i don't know i feel like a lot of people have applied falsqueras before and you guys have all seen it so don't take mine as a tutorial i will link the tutorial that i use i follow Aliyah's face one i love her i watch her all the time um so she posted a short and I follow her short. I do it the exact same way, nothing crazy. So I'm not gonna like walk it through you like it's a tutorial, but I just think a little lash will help me feel all the way together before I do my nails. I still have to like cook us dinner and it's like getting late. So I kind of want to get my lashes done, figure out what I'm doing for dinner so I can like do my nails and be all cute for the holiday weekend. okay guys so this is it if you want to know what i used i used wow let me unzoom you guys that is aggressive you you guys are tired of seeing my face okay um so i used two shorts so like a short and a short i used two mediums so it's like short medium and then two longs on each end sorry i said that wrong okay i used one short one medium two longs to give it like that little lifted snatched up eye awake kind of look uh because i feel like i look a little tired because i am <laughs> so yeah i like these don't get me wrong but i think in the future i will just purchase uh wispy's little like sets like that from amazon just because like I think these are cute i think they work but i want to customize my length this is perfect for me i don't know if i shared this with you guys actually so 
I'm actually allergic to lash extension glue and I'm low-key terrified to go in and let someone test glue on me to see if I'm allergic or still allergic because I got my lashes done when we lived in Vegas for my birthday so that was like 2021 I want to say uh, or 2022 I can't remember but I got my lashes done and I had a really bad allergic reaction had to take them out immediately my eyes were like swelling it was right on my birthday so I was pissed because like I wanted to look cute for my birthday and my eyes were just destroyed it was just awful so yeah because of that i am terrified to let anyone do lash extensions on me so i was looking all over the place for how to have like lash extensions but at home and i think the false scare is like the best i can do sometimes even this will agitate my eyes like even this glue is too much for me i really usually can just wear strip lashes sometimes i can't even wear a whole strip like I know my eyes are very sensitive and especially when you get out of the habit of like wearing lashes i think that's part of it your eyes get more sensitive but yeah so the false scare works great for me i just would like to find lashes that are like feel realer i guess because these don't really feel like real lashes they feel like that plasticky lash i don't know but the one that Aaliyah uses because you guys know i love Aaliyah's face like i adore her everything she's getting all the blessings she's getting she more than deserves them and i just love seeing her thrive and live her best life it's like so inspiring and also just so like i'm just so genuinely happy for her so i just love watching her videos i've watched her for a very long time same i love like remy i love alicia like i love all of them but like Aaliyah, just i love seeing her especially i just love seeing a black girl like shine you know what i mean so she uses the noble lees one and i'm not gonna lie she uses these ones with the false scare in her tutorial and she just cuts them these are bomb but i don't like how they like feel like the lash band feels too much on my lashes maybe i did it wrong i don't know but i didn't like how these felt even though they're silk like faux silk lashes so they're supposed to be really good so maybe i'll retry these on my eyes another time with the false scare I don't know but yeah these look cute they're pretty natural they give a little something something but not too much and I've been wearing my makeup super natural so I actually think this is like the vibe um I'm gonna stop babbling though because I think I'm gonna figure out dinner and then maybe just stay up and do my nails I kind of want to do like Barbie nails because Barbie comes out in a few weeks and I'm not going to be redoing my nails before Barbie comes out. But also, it's like 4th of July, so I could just do red nails or like blue, like cobalt blue. That would be really cute. But I don't know. I think I'm going to do pink. I think I'm going to do Barbie nails. We'll see. I'll show you guys. Let's go make dinner. Okay guys, this is how dinner came out. I made us like a little lazy carbonara. Sorry, I forgot I was filming and it was really, really hard to make. This is only the second time I've ever made one, so it might not be perfect and I totally didn't film it. You guys don't want my tutorial anyways. I will try to link someone who actually makes a good one underneath because girl, this wasn't it. But I used gluten-free fettuccine. Um, tastes great honestly i never notice a difference with the barilla brand so if you're looking for good gluten-free options that is the best gluten-free pasta i have had now i'm gonna make us a little dinner cocktail we usually obviously you would normally have um wine if it would focus on this oh my god with italian food i feel like most people want to have wine but we are going to have a health aid kombucha ginger lemon mixed with some hibiscus tea and that's going to give us like a wine type of vibe for the evening but also help out our time so i had hibiscus tea kind of soaking all day for us in the fridge we'd have cold tea and i'm just gonna pour that in Ooh. oh what my good lord guys i make a mess everything i do whatever wow this is what you guys don't see when i make shorts this this like cleanup moment because I make a freaking mess with everything I do. <laughs> but okay, that's the cocktail. I, babe, do you want pineapple or peach? Pineapple, please. Okay. Then we're gonna make it a little tropical y with some pineapple syrup. I'm just gonna put in like, ooh, jeez. 
Oh, we're running out of pineapple. I put in like two squirts for each of us and that should sweeten it up. All right, we've got our little cocktail straws. All right, voila, that's dinner for us. And we're gonna chill on the couch, watch a show, enjoy our dinner. And I'll probably like bring you guys back to say goodnight or something maybe.